being a teacher, you have a purpose. What you do, it's almost like an immediate feedback. Like you can see right away whether something you did helped a student or hurt a student. Who I am is based off of like the people I surround myself with. I was in Girl Scouts all 13 years, kindergarten through senior year of high school, and we did different service projects. I was surrounded by people who wanted to give back and wanted to better themselves. And so in turn, like, that made me want to help others and better myself. I got into UM and my mom and I came out and toured. And right when I got out of the car, I turned to my mom and I said, Mom, I'm home. Before I even came to UM, I switched my major to psychology. I came and I took a teaching class. My mom was like, Mom, I want to be a teacher. When I was younger, I always wanted to be a teacher. Like, I'd always teach my stuffed animals what I learned in school that day and everything. I realized UM was a good fit when the teaching classes I was taking are really applicable. A lot of the classes here have field experience, so they place you at elementary schools. And then you're taking the teaching method classes, and you're thinking, if I was this teacher, what could I do? Last semester, we were paired with West Lab, which is the elementary school that's like kind of on campus. And so once a week, we would go, and for an hour, we'd tutor this student, and I was helping him with reading, and I saw him made huge advancements. And by the end of tutoring, he had like 50 sight words that he just knew that he had missed before. So it was really cool for me to see like, like this kid knows all these things because I helped him out. The research I'm doing with the honors program with one of my professors, she has her own research called Project Ramp It Up and it works with at-risk middle school children and it's an intervention reading program. Her study is with all the middle school students but I want to do a spin-off of it with younger students and spelling and a lot of what I'm really interested in is inventive spellings. If I can impact a few students, then they can go out and impact other people, and it's just this big snowball effect. It's not the physical things, it's the relationships you have with your students, but then there's emotional rewards you see, like with your child improving, or like when a student comes to you years after they've had you and say, oh, I remember you doing this, and like you impacted me this way. Like, I can't wait to have that experience.